As 2024 and 2025 draws near, several new cameras are generating a lot of interest. Each model brings fresh advancements and improvements, aiming to enhance both photography and filmmaking. For enthusiasts and professionals alike, these upcoming releases offer new opportunities to capture stunning images and videos. At first, we have the Nikon Z4 suggested Nikon. It is taking a bold step by removing the EVF in this compact full-frame mirrorless camera, aiming to cut costs significantly. However, this strategic move raises questions about market competition, as Nikon wouldn't want to cannibalize the sales of its Z5 or ZFC models. Early hints from Nikon rumors speculated on an entry-level model in Nikon's mirrorless lineup with patent drawings even suggesting a design without an EVF. Some believe the Z4 could resemble the Sony A7C but might carry a more classic rangefinder aesthetic, reminiscent of Nikon's vintage S-Line. If the Z4 materializes as a sleek, smaller, and more affordable option, it could carve out a unique spot in Nikon's lineup, appealing to both enthusiasts and new adopters. The Nikon Z80 is rumored to pack the same hybrid IBIS technology found in the Nikon ZF and Z6 Mark III, marking a major leap forward for the DX format range. This advanced stabilization, combining optical and digital methods, is expected to elevate the Z80's performance, making it a top contender for both photographers and videographers. Adding to the excitement, the Z80 will feature the Xspeed 7 image processor, renowned for its dual data stream technology. This inclusion promises faster processing, enhanced autofocus, and superior image quality, bringing high-level performance to a more compact, DX format package. With whispers of groundbreaking video capabilities and advanced specs, the Z80 could redefine what's possible in Nikon's DX line, potentially outshining the anticipated Z50 Mark II. On the other hand, the Nikon Zs is generating a lot of hype as a potential game-changer for fans of retro-inspired cameras. Although official details are still under wraps, rumors suggest the Zs might blend modern imaging prowess with the vintage charm of Nikon's classic film cameras. A computer-generated render making the rounds online showcases a rangefinder-style body with manual dials and a nostalgic design that harkens back to the golden age of 35mm photography. However, this camera is expected to be more than just a pretty face. If these rumors hold true, the Zs could offer a unique mix of old-school aesthetics and cutting-edge technology, appealing to both traditionalists and modern photographers. The narrative of the Nikon Komodo Z begins with Nikon's strategic acquisition of RED in April 2024 for $85 million. This move was a deliberate effort to integrate RED's cutting-edge video technologies into Nikon's camera lineup, aiming to capture a larger market share. The Komodo Z is rumored to be the ultimate hybrid camera, seamlessly transitioning between high-resolution photography and cinematic video. It's expected to feature a co-developed 45-megapixels full-frame CMOS sensor, optimized for exceptional low-light performance and dynamic range. If these rumors hold true, the Komodo Z could redefine what's possible in a hybrid camera, offering professionals unparalleled versatility and quality. Next, we have the Sony A12. It might include a global shutter, which allows all pixels to capture light at the same time, making it ideal for fast action photography like sports and wildlife. While this offers faster performance, Global shutters are typically less effective at gathering light compared to rolling shutters, which could affect image quality in areas like dynamic range and color accuracy. The A12 is rumored to have a 50MP sensor and 120fps burst speed, pushing the limits of what's possible. However, some experts are concerned that these advancements might come with a decrease in overall image quality. Sony will need to balance speed and image quality to ensure the A12 meets the high expectations of professional photographers.
The Sony A7R6 is rumored to feature a groundbreaking 100-megapixel full-frame sensor, offering an unprecedented level of detail that will appeal to landscape and product photographers alike. This upgrade isn't just about higher resolution, the camera might also include stacked CMOS technology, enhancing shooting speeds significantly. This makes it a potentially powerful tool for sports and wildlife photographers. Alongside this, whispers suggest advanced autofocus capabilities that could track even the swiftest subjects, and improved image stabilization for sharp handheld shots in low light. While the increased resolution may require photographers to adjust their techniques, the A7R6 promises remarkable image quality. However, with such advancements, the camera may come with a hefty price tag, possibly launching in late 2024, early 2025. The Sony FX32 might share similar internal features with the rumored A7R6, following the trends seen with the original FX3 and FX6 aligning closely with the A7S3. The FX32 is speculated to have a 12MP global shutter sensor, a significant leap from traditional sensors, though this is still speculative. Expected to launch as early as March 2024, the FX32 could potentially replace both the FX3 and the A7S IV, consolidating Sony's video-focused camera lineup. The FX32 may continue the FX series tradition of offering a compact, lightweight design without an electronic viewfinder, which is different from the A7S3 setup. This shift might signal the end of the A7S line, which has been pivotal in offering high-quality video capabilities in a compact full-frame body since its debut in 2014. Rumors suggest the Sony FX50 could make a significant impact in the cinema world with its anticipated 35mm full-frame sensor and a dynamic range of up to 15 stops. This level of dynamic range is crucial for capturing detailed highlights and shadows, appealing to cinematographers who demand top-notch performance. The design of the FX50 appears inspired by the Canon C70 but aims to be more compact and lightweight, catering to filmmakers who need portability without compromising on quality. Expected features include advanced autofocus, in-body image stabilization, IBIS, and an electronic variable ND filter, which is essential for maintaining sharp focus, steady shots, and precise exposure control in various lighting conditions. Priced around $3,000, the FX50 is positioned as a competitive alternative to high-end cinema cameras, offering great value for both indie filmmakers and experienced professionals. Also, the Canon R1X is stirring up considerable interest, especially with rumors suggesting it could feature a remarkable 80-megapixel sensor, a significant upgrade from the 24.2-megapixel sensor of the EOS Roan. This would offer unprecedented resolution, appealing to photographers seeking extraordinary detail and clarity. Canon's current high-resolution option, the EOS R5 Mark II, offers up to 45 megapixels, but it hasn't fully satisfied those looking for an 80-megapixel dedicated pro body. Despite the excitement, it's worth noting that such high resolution may not always align with practical needs. Canon has historically favored the 24-megapixel range for flagship models, balancing detail and performance effectively. The rumored R1X could push these boundaries, offering a powerful tool for photographers who demand top-notch resolution, but it's essential to remain cautious as official details are still pending. The Canon EOS R6 Mark III is anticipated to make a significant impact with its features. It's expected to sport a 24-megapixel stacked CMOS sensor, similar to the one in the Canon R3, which should deliver excellent image quality and low-light performance. The camera will offer both mechanical and electronic shutter options for varied shooting conditions. For storage, the R6 Mark III will include CF Express and SD US2 card slots, ensuring fast data handling for high-resolution photos and videos. Video capabilities are set to impress, with 4K recording at 120fps and Full HD at 240fps. It will feature the same EVF as the EOS R5 and improved in-body image stabilization, IBIS, the 3.0-inch LCD will remain unchanged, 
with an expected release in early 2025. The Fujifilm X-Pro4 is anticipated to build on the legacy of its predecessors, aiming for a 2024 release. Following the X-Pro2's enhancements over the original X-Pro1, the X-Pro4 is expected to refine autofocus and other key features while maintaining its classic rangefinder design. A significant update could be a new, more user-friendly screen, moving away from the controversial hidden display of the X-Pro3. A regular tilting screen, similar to the XE4, would offer practical benefits without straying from the X-Pro ethos. Improved battery life is also anticipated, potentially with a larger battery or an enhanced version of the existing one. While major video features or in-body stabilization seem unlikely, the X-Pro4 is expected to offer thoughtful improvements while preserving its beloved traditional shooting style. The Fujifilm X-T6 is likely to follow the typical release pattern seen with previous models, suggesting a debut around May 2025. This follows the average cycle of 30 months between releases, though it could be announced as early as January if Fujifilm opts for a quicker turnaround. The X-T4's rapid release after the X-T3 was an exception, focusing on key upgrades like in-body stabilization and improved battery life. The X-T5, recently launched, highlights Fujifilm's return to a classic, photography-centric design. The X-T6 is expected to build on this, potentially incorporating enhancements in autofocus, processing speed, and ergonomics while maintaining the retro, user-friendly design that defines the X-T series. The camera is anticipated to cater to both enthusiasts and professionals with a balanced mix of performance and style. The anticipated Panasonic Lumix S1H2 promises to build on the strengths of its predecessor with some exciting updates. Rumors suggest it will feature a 50MP sensor, a significant leap from the original's 24 megapixels, enhancing its capability for high-resolution photography. On the video front, the S1H2 might support 8K UHD and DCI at up to 60fps, alongside 4K at 120fps. It could handle 6K and 8K RAW, as well as 8K and 6K Apple ProRes RAW, which would make it a robust tool for both professional video and high-resolution stills. The camera is expected to maintain the ergonomic design of the S1H series, with a durable magnesium alloy body, a high-resolution OLED viewfinder, and a fully articulating touchscreen LCD. This design will likely continue to cater to the needs of professional content creators with a focus on both functionality and durability. The rumored Panasonic Lumix S5R could signal a bold shift in the company's camera lineup strategy. Unlike its predecessors, which were designed to cater to distinct needs such as the S1 for general use, the S1R for high resolution, and the S1H for video, the S5R might combine these strengths into one versatile package. This could position it as a high resolution alternative within the S5 series, potentially making the S1R less relevant. The S5 Mark II's introduction of Phase Detect Autofocus and the S5 Mark II X's strong video performance have already shaken up Panasonic's full-frame mirrorless offerings. This strategic move might help Panasonic stay competitive against aggressive innovation from rivals like Sony and Nikon, reflecting a responsive and adaptive approach to current trends in the camera industry. The upcoming Panasonic Lumix BGH-1 successor, rumored to be revealed soon, introduces a groundbreaking modular design with a compact cubic body and an optional detachable grip. This design addresses a key limitation of previous models, which were primarily optimized for mounted use. The core camera body includes essential components like the sensor and I.O. ports, while the detachable grip adds ergonomic enhancements for handheld shooting complete with its own battery and physical controls. This setup allows for a lightweight, versatile camera that can easily switch between handheld and mounted configurations. Although specific details on sensor specs and recording capabilities are still unknown, this innovative approach could set a new standard in the box camera category, appealing to filmmakers who need both flexibility and comfort.
That was the top 15 upcoming cameras you should keep your eyes on. We hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.